Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a channel about uh, perfume perceptions and today we are going to talk about Gucci Bloom Ambrosia di Fiori. This is a flanker of the original uh, Gucci Bloom. It's always, be, it's always been created by Alberto Morillas and it's a perfume around tuberose. It's a very, very kind tuberose. Um, this is something that is very, uh, this is, you know, it's kind of a signature of Maria's to create this uh, very kind of fresh, uh, light, inoffensive, but, you know, without lacking character perfumes. So um, he is very famous for that. Um, yeah, actually, I invite you to check Fragrantica if you don't know Alberto Maria's and check all of the perfumes he has created. You'll find a, a lot of... Uh, hits um so yeah and he has created the old gucci bloom uh, line is actually the gucci in-house perfumer let's say of course he works also for other brands he has his own brands brand amizonsi um yeah so let's get to the perfume so i have sprayed it here and yeah now it's a bit dry drying out and you can really feel what is this distinguishable of, uh, of this flanker compared to the original. So of course there's the tuberose, there's white flowers, there's the rangoon creeper, so, but they made a bit more of the powdery aspect relevant in this one. So they really wanted to um, bring it to be a bit more pow uh, powdery and a bit less, it's not powdery like dusty, it's powdery, creamy powdery. And it's really nice. So this is done with the iris and with the damask rose. Iris is typical from Tuscany, so that really goes with Gucci, you know. Um, and uh, what else? Yeah, what I wanted to say is that compared to the original flanker, sorry, compared to, compared to the original uh, Gucci Bloom, this flanker is kinder. It's a kinder tuberose for those of you who can get annoyed by tuberose. I mean, the original Gucci Bloom is, is already a quite kind tuberose, but this one is even more because of this creamy powderiness uh, given by the rose and the iris, and of course the Rangoon Creeper as well, which is not which is not in, on Fragrantica. You won't find Rangoon Creeper Rangoon Creeper for this perfume on Fragrantica, but if you check the Gucci website, they're gonna they're gonna explicitly state that um, the perfume has the very same notes plus additional notes and the Rangoon Creeper is still there. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, um, but yeah. Oops. So what else? Oh, it's an Eau de Parfum. The persistence is, you know, average good. So a bit more than six hours. I mean, it, it stays as a skin scent for a very long time, uh, beyond the six hours mark. But you can really smell it around you and people can smell it around you for sure for six hours. The first two, three hours are pretty strong in terms of, you know, projection and so on. So yeah, it's, a, it's a gorgeous scent. It's very elegant and it's fresh, kind of, it's not a freshy, but it's, you know, that type of uh, fresh white flower. And I think it's perfect for spring and summer time. It can also be used at night time during summer. It's more of a day scent, but compared, for instance, to the original Gucci Bloom, I think that this flanker can work better at night because of that creamy powderiness. Uh, and then, yeah, I also use it during the winter time, to be honest. Yeah, it's a, it's a gorgeous perfume. I really love it. Um, so it comes in 30 ml, 50 ml, 100 ml. So this is the how it looks like. It's spotless. It's really, really nice. Uh, the sprayer is actually really good. Let's see if we can, I can show you. Yeah. And yeah, the only thing I really don't like is this. There's a sticker instead of the print, but yeah, they're all like this. And yeah, there's also the Gucci engraving on the, on the, what's the name, the cup. Um, and it's, you know, it clicks. You can really, this is a 100ml bottle, you can really, you know, it doesn't, 
it's perfect, right? So it's very good quality. It's a very, very, very famous scent and famous perfume. So yeah, as always, I actually advise to buy by authorized uh, retailers. Maybe it's better to pay a bit more and make, and make sure that you actually have an original product. And yeah, it's a gorgeous perfume and uh, highly, highly recommended. It's, uh, you know, quite versatile. It's not juvenile. It's not, uh, it doesn't smell old or old lady or, you know, like. It, yeah, it's a very modern tuberose, modern take on tuberose. Um, yeah, yeah, gorgeous scent. Another masterpiece from uh, Alberto Morillas. I hope this review was helpful. If you need any other information, please uh, comment in comment below, um, and I'll try to you know get back to you. Have a great day. Bye.